Hello and welcome to this month's episode of Mills Meets. Today in Studio 2 at Phoenix FM, I am joined by Olivia Jane. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. No worries. Okay, so every time I do a Mills Meets, I start off the interview with a couple of would you rather questions. So are you up for <laughs> answering these? Yeah. A bit of fun? Cool. Okay. So the first one, I, I know the answer to this already. <laughs> for myself anyway. Would you rather never use social media again? I'm addicted. So I would wouldn't Ooh. go with that one, or never be able to watch a TV or movies ever again. Does Netflix include TV? Yeah. Um. So it's either no, no social media or no TV. I feel like if you still had social media, they like people would like if you ban TV, people would upload it like illegally on social true, media. True. So I'm gonna go with no TV. Not that no we advocate movies. any. <laughs> 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 no, but, but like I could just imagine it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go with social media because then otherwise you can like talk to people. So you'd, you'd live without TV and movies? Yeah. And you'd want social media? Yeah. Fair enough. Good point. Would you rather have edible spaghetti hair that regrows every night? Oh my God, spaghetti. Or sweat maple syrup? I'm actually a bit scared of spaghetti. It really freaks oh, really? me out. Like spaghetti freaks me out. So I wouldn't want to eat my hair. Okay. Yeah. So I'd probably go with maple syrup. I think I'd go with maple syrup. Because I quite I like the taste of maple it. syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas spaghetti sorry. freaks me out. So also, why, why does it freak you out? Because it's just like, mm, you know, like it's long and it's like, mm, I don't know. It's just freaky. <laughs> have you never ate it then? Oh, no, I have. Like I have it like, I have it sometimes, but yeah. like I don't eat it because it's weird. And it freaks me out. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. We have them weird phobias. Um, and the last one, would you rather sound like Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck for the rest of your life? Mickey Mouse. Why Mickey Mouse? Because it would help me sing. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, Donald and Duck baby. Also, Donald Duck, I feel like it's a bit annoying. And I kind of sound like Donald Duck now, like, you know, with a really annoying voice because I've got a cold. Oh, like, you don't sound annoying at all. <laughs> you know, I just feel like people like Mickey Mouse more. I'm going to go with Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> okay, so you are only 16 and you are yes. the youngest person I think I've ever had on Meals Meets. Really? So, yeah, I think so. Well done. You've got a world record already. Um, and you're currently studying performing art. So what elements do you um, like studying the most? So I study musical theatre. <laughs> okay, what's involved in that? So acting, singing and dancing. So I kind of do all three. And what's your favourite thing to do? Uh, singing. Singing, okay, cool. And that is why you're here today and we're going to hear a bit of your performance later. Um, but you have been in musical um, productions ever since you're about five, is that right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Long what time. encouraged you to start so young? I don't really know. I think when I was probably about four or five, I was like, you know, I'm just going to go to some singing lessons. No one in my family sings. Like, oh, yeah. my parents don't, my sister doesn't, my extended family don't. I don't know where I got it from. I was like, yep, this is what I've decided to do. And then I did a tiny bit of, like, modelling when I was a kid. Um, and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to do some singing. And then it kind of just happened. So you must have had quite an exciting life for a 16-year-old. Most 16-year-olds wouldn't have gone through what you've gone through and... You must be quite excited, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, it's quite exciting. I think my school's really exciting because it's very, very different to, like, normal schooling. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. And you said you like singing the best. And is yeah. that what you kind of want to pursue as a career? Yeah, I guess. I think singing and then, like, musical theatre, like, combined would be, like, yeah. the best. <laughs> and what kind of shows have you started in musical theatre? So I did... When I um I did a lot of Amdram when I was like before I went to the school that I'm at now. So I did, gosh, what did I do? I did like Blitz once, I think. Um, South Pacific things like that, kind of some of the older musicals. And then since I joined the, the school that I'm at now, I did um, Fame oh, nice. as cool. my first like show there. And then I did Sister Act. And I played Mary Lazarus and that, so it was really funny. And this year I'm doing... Oh, we haven't started rehearsals yet, but this year I'm doing Thoroughly Modern Millie. Oh, nice. So, yeah. <laughs> Some big shows there. Cool. <laughs> and you had your first taste of sort of pop music um, when you released an EP. When was that? A couple of years ago, was it? Mm-hmm. Two years ago, I think. Two years ago. And tell <laughs> us a little bit about that. So I originally started doing it because I was going on a world challenge to Indonesia. And I was like, I need to raise some money. So... I think this would be a good idea and I kind of enjoyed doing it so I was like yeah cool carry on with it yeah (laughs) and that included um bringing out a single this year this summer just gone yeah called oh I've gone sorry just in my head and tell us a little bit about that and why that was your first single so I hadn't really written anything like 
I don't know, like hadn't written anything before um, any of my own music. And I kind of went in the studio with the people that I was writing with. And I was like, okay, so I don't know what to write about. Here's a story. And they were like, cool. And then we wrote the song. And then it kind of just happened. And then we were like, yeah. (laughs) And there was a follow-up from that, which is your current single that's just come out called Through to You. What is that one about? That is... Hmm. Well, it's about story. <laughs> it's um, from personal experience. It's I think it's quite, it's quite like if you when you listen to the words, it's quite, I don't know, it's quite obvious. I think a lot of people could relate to it, but it's a very long story. <laughs> okay. uh, can you tell us a short version? Uh, I don't really think there is a short version. <laughs> to be fair, it's just long. <laughs> well, how about we have a little listen to it and then yeah. hopefully you guys can hear the story through the song. So here's Olivia Jane with Through to You. Caution to the wind Say so let yourself destruct it Look at the state you're in You're falling apart And I don't want to watch From a distance Cause I know that you're still is actually really mature for your age 
Is it? It's a good thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't listen Thank to you. anything like a 16 year old wrote that and sang that. Might be because I have a cold, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it That's just sounds really down, deeper. <laughs> so, when it comes to songwriting, what kind of like, where do you get your inspiration from? So, both, are, well, three, I've written three recently, and they're all from, they're like, they're always about people that I've met and people that I've had experience with, and they're all from like personal experience. And I'm like, no, this is kind of interesting. This kind of happened. I'm going to write a song about it. Nice. And so then I do. Then I'm like, yeah. Would you ever think of writing songs to other people or is it more personal to you? See, I'm not... I so I've only written kind of three and I'm still kind of learning how to do it. So I do write with other people. And so I wrote, I wrote with um, someone called Joe and someone called Tom and someone called Reese. So I... I need to, I think for me, I need to get to grips with the whole like writing process first. Yeah. And then maybe. <laughs> no rush, you've got a long life ahead of you to do that. <laughs> um, so who are your influences um, musically? Um, I really like Sigrid's music at the moment. Yeah, I'm really into that. It's really good. <laughs> Why that kind of music? I just, I don't know. I just really like it. I just, I think her, like, I like the way she writes as well, actually. Um, I quite like the way Sabrina Carpenter writes. Um, like, you can see the way she writes throughout a lot of her songs, actually. And I just really like the sound of Sigrid's voice, to be fair. And what do you listen to when you're not singing yourself? What kind of songs do you put on? Um, so I put, I listen to a lot of Demi Lovato. I'm a big fan. <laughs> um, I do listen to a lot of Sigrid. Um... What else am I listening to at the moment? Ooh, I listen to so much. I just listen to kind of what, like, whatever's, like, out. Like, yeah. stuff that's kind of, like, new. I just listen to so it. So, like, kind of chart... <coughs> Sorry, chart music and stuff like that. Yeah, some of the chart music I find really irritating, though. Oh, really? Kind of depends what chart music. What kind of stuff do you find irritating? I'm not into the whole rap thing. Okay, fair enough. I just, I'm just not into it. I don't know, it's just not my thing. It's not your thing? It's not everyone's thing? That's fair enough. Um, and you've got your own sort of YouTube channel and Spotify yeah. account as well, haven't you? I Tell have. us about that, because they're quite popular, aren't they? Hmm. I'll say they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my Spotify was kind of, I was like, yeah, let's release my music on Spotify. And then it kind of just happened, and then it, like, numbers racked up. And then the YouTube was kind of a place, and just another place to put my music. And then we just kept it, and put music on it nice. and what other social media accounts have you got if people want to follow you and your music so i have twitter which is what even is it it's olivia um two capital j's and then a y n e and then my instagram is the same Cool. And as you know, as we said at the beginning, you're only 16, you've got a whole long life of your career ahead of you. But what <laughs> would you want to achieve this time next year? What are your plans? Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> um, Big question. Ooh, yeah, no, it's got, it's got quite deep. <laughs> um, well, musically, I'd like to be able to kind of be better at writing and kind of learn what I'm doing writing wise. Um, so when I release more songs and kind of increase the amount of people that are able to listen to them, I, ooh, I, um, yeah, I think that's kind of, kind of like it. That's good, and eh? then like in life, <laughs> I want to learn to drive. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm 17 in December. I want to learn to drive in the next year. That'd be good. Give and, some freedom. Yeah. It'd be fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking of fun. We're going to have a bit of fun now because oh. at the end of every meal, day, I always get my guests to try out a world record. And Olivia Jane is going to try and see how many two peas she can stack in a tower in one minute to see if she can beat the record. So we're going to get set up for that and then give it a go. You ready? Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, so Olivia Jane has decided to try and beat the world record for most coins stacked into a tower in 30 seconds. We've chosen to use two Ps. As you can see, we have two Ps here. The amount to beat is 51, but we've been hopeful and put out 58 coins to see if you can do this in 30 seconds. Um, and this was achieved by Stephen Kish in South Sea in Portsmouth on um, the 18th of September of 2012. So it was quite a while ago. Um, I'm going to read you the rules. Okay, so you can only use one hand and you have to start with one hand behind your back. Do I have to keep it there or can I just put it here? Uh, yeah, keep it behind your back. 
Okay. <laughs> and then um, one hand flat on the table. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can only pick up and stack one coin at a time. You can use that one hand to neaten and move the stack. Um, but if the towel falls over, you can only use one hand to start restacking. So that other hand has got to stay behind your back at all times. And the towel has to stay standing for at least five seconds afterwards. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to count down. We've got a timer here. I'm going to do 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. Okay, we have one. We've got two, <laughs> three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, ten seconds gone. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> That's fifteen. You've got twenty four seconds gone. You've got three seconds. Two, one, stop. Okay, <laughs> should we count how many is actually on the stack? So you've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen's a good try. Yeah, not fifty-one, but fifteen. <laughs> if you put it the other way around, then I basically beat the record. There you go. Pretty much done it. Well done. A <laughs> good attempt. So thank you very much for coming thank on you. to Meals and Meats this month. Just remind everyone if they want to f- um, follow your music and keep up to date with what you're up to. What is your social media? So my Twitter is Olivia. Um, and then J J A Y N E, and so is my Instagram, and my YouTube is Olivia Dash Jane, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so go and check her out. Thank you once again, and I'll see you guys next month on Meals Meets. <laughs>